What is going on guys and girls, this is Kingdom Freak here and welcome to this Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2011. I'm your host Kingdom Freak and on the previous episode we beat Raymond and we're actually going to be facing up against Lawton. Lawton is actually the hardest opponent to play against if you're going second. Because since because of the uh, ta because of the tag duel purposes, this is actually technically a tag duel with Callan and yourself, and he's playing alone. There's actually going to be a special rule that he gets that he will actually explain very very soon. So we're actually going to duel him. So if you do not have the proper deck equipped, I've actually uh, made a new deck just before this episode. Just before I finish this, um, just before I, uh, start, went up against him, so we are actually going to duel him. Very well then, I'll show you how this is done. Although, since I'm alone, I'm going to start with 10 cards. This is why he is hard to beat. He uses a deck that is completely and utterly unfair and will kill you if you do not have the correct deck. So, we'll see what he ha what type of deck he has. And why it's this guy is one of the hardest uh, bosses in the one of the hardest bosses in the game. Or mini bosses. Whoa, what the hell? Got him. That's this Lawton is actually the fastest person to play Fastest person to uh, hit his buttons as a computer AI. So this is actually the deck that I'm actually going to be using. This is actually quite hilarious, my hand. So what I'm going to activate first is spell. So my deck is based around healing myself every time a spell card is played, because most of the spell cards that he plays are um, burn spells. He's going to have a very hard time keeping up with my life points. I'm going to activate this, so I can technically gain a thousand life points from Red Medicine. So my deck's uh, based around just stopping my opponent from dealing any damage to me, well trying to at least. So this is actually the most defensive deck that I've been I'm playing up against, that I've been playing up against. <sighs> this is a problem card, so I'm going to activate Dust Tornado, because it's actually... Oh, you're pretty good. I'm always good, Dust. <laughs> oh, that is so unfair, so unfair. So I gain 500 life points. Destroys, resolves, and this actually counts as resolving. So I just, I just gain most of the damage that he dealt to me back. So I needed to get rid of that uh, spell card because he was actually going to start killing me. Because uh, Dark Room of Nightmare actually starts killing you as soon as you, as soon as he plays a burn spell. Funny thing is, thing is, he's only dealing 500 points of damage every single time with those cards. Now he's going to deal 800. I'm just going to leave Callan to uh, be doing the attacking because it's not there's not much that I can do for attacks. This is. This is why I don't usually like playing up against him, but because of the cards that I have got, this game's going to be very, very easy. Well, he won't be tributing any monsters. <laughs> ha! He sends the top card from his deck to... Really hard not to laugh. 
Oh, that's actually a key, one, another one of his cards that's annoying. He sends all of your cards from your hand to, from your hand to the graveyard, then you have to draw five cards. This is another problem card. Uh, wave motion can, but I think it's a, a lot more of a problem than... Uh, Dark uh, Nightmare, the Nightmare card. Ugh, I'm, I can't say anything properly. I'm s I'm more concerned about his wave motion cannons than any of his burn spells because. The only reason that we that we'll be able to win this is if um, Callan gets the right cards now. So this game will, will might go on for a very long time, or it might end in maybe five turns, I think. Set the deep prison. Set the deep prison. Thank you. Oh, actually, I almost forgot this feature. Since you have different sleeves, since you have different sleeves to your partner, if they get sent back to the deck, if your cards get sent back to their deck, and the deck is shuffled, the top. Whenever it comes up, it'll be revealed as your card. So, against the AI, they won't really tell, won't know the difference. But if you were to play on on online with um, ah bollocks. Okay, so let's use you to attack. Oh bollocks! Oh well, I just lose 200. Plus another 400. No big deal. I real, I really need to get rid of this wave motion cannons. Really, he's gonna activate it now? <laughs> you can really take a lot. Thank you, Callan. I can take a lot. That didn't sound wrong at all. Oh. Ew. I hate it when Infernies draw monsters because. Monsters aren't really the cards that you need to draw. <laughs> Strong thing for what Doom Dragon, nice. So he's synchro summoning his strongest card. This is the card that he used in the previous episode, I believe. I believe he used No, I don't believe he used it. I don't believe he used it, I forgot. This is a new new recording session, by the way. <laughs> um Yeah, so he won't be able to activate his effect, but it's. Doom Dragon is actually a really good card in general. I'm actually surprised that he hasn't got. There's actually two cards in his deck that actually piss me off the most, but they can be used against him. Uh, they're two different monsters. One of them is a 1,200 attack, 2,500 attack power monster with 1,200 defense. You can sack, you contribute one of your opponent's monsters to special summon it to your opponent's side of the field. 
during the end step, during once per turn, you can whoever's controlling it, once per turn you can sacrifice a monster to deal 1,000 points of damage to your opponent. That'd be fine with me. However, its other effect is the problem. At the end step, take 1,000 points of damage or sac or sacrifice a creature. So I've actually added Van Dagalon the Dark Lord Dragon. Dragon Lord. Because um, its effect, if I since I've actually got a counter trap, I can actually activate it. And I shouldn't have done that. Since I've got a counter trap on the field, if this gets targeted at any way, I can activate this, and then I can activate this effect, and I can special summon it. And then if it was a, since he uses uses mostly spells. Um, he, he get, he'll get inflicted 1,500 points of damage, but I don't believe he has any target spells. So let's attack him. Still might actually go faster than I thought. And a lot, and in a lot different direction. No way, have we won? Have we won? Summon Infinity Guardian and he doesn't activate a trap. We win. No way. This duel has never, ever been easy, especially for the first time. What? <laughs> Heal deck OP! <laughs> oh wow, I have... That has never, ever happened before. That has never happened before. If my first, usually on my first, every time I go through, every time I go through on a new game, just a new game in general, just not new, not new game plus, new game in general. I have a hard time versing him the first time, and I won against him. What the fuck? What the heck? He's never that easy. Do never, never underestimate him, guys. If you're using a deck that my dark deck, be prepared to lose. <laughs> Maybe going up against two, two at once was too much after all. However, it matters not that I should lose a duel here. After all, my goal is to win the war. I have... I have people all over the town working for me. Alright everyone, time for you to work. Coward, you're a disgrace as a duelist. I'm a realist. Okay. I thought I told you already, I am here to rule this town, whatever the cost. Now come, gather around me! Hey, come on, can't you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, we hear ya. Crow? 
taking on that this many losers at once really works up a sweat. Crow! <laughs> Don't tell me you're, all, you're tired already, Crow. You better start working out more. Can you believe a bunch of goons want to, like this want to start a war? Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Jack! Looks like this is over. Just face it, we've won. We've already defeated all your lackeys. Little lackeys. You say! This is awesome! Team Satisfaction is back in action! Ah! What a bunch of good-for-nothings! You think we're just gonna let you get away that easily? Uh-oh! Dead in this way too! For some reason, I never know who actually says that. I think it might be Toro. Maybe. Don't think you can just prance into someone's hometown like this and have your way with the place. Just give up now and retain what little honor you have left. Possible. All right, now this town is free. Thanks to you, all were able to take these criminals into custody. I appreciate it. There are still a few left around town, but I, but I made them promise to clean up their acts. So, Officer Trudge, he is actually, he was actually introduced in the very first episode of 5Ds. Um, he's a police officer and a complete note of douchebag, I would have to say. <laughs> Trudge, hurry up, we're going to leave you behind. And Mina, the head of security, I believe? Oh no, actually no. The head of security, the head of, I'm not sure what she is, what position she's in, but she, for spoilers, she's in love with Jack. Shh. Oh, whoops. Forgot to read that out. <laughs> Forgot to read both, both Mina's line and I believe, um, Trudge's line. Callan, how'd it go? Well, they, they were shocked to say it. To say it the least. How would you feel if your father died? But I'm going to take care of him from now on. Not make. Not to make right of all the bad things I've done. Not because I asked to, none of that. But because those two in this town are the only things that give me any hope to live. I see. Well, everything should be all right. Right now. The town, the kids. And you too, Callum. Sorry, I've been nothing but a burden to you recently. So, in this for 2011, to, uh, in the World Championship 2010, there was actually a for the World Championship 2012 version of this game. Um, this the uh, Callum actually was. Uh, was actually one of the main enemies in the game, so that's why he's actually saying sorry about everything. But I'll be fine now, thanks to everyone's help, of course. I'll be sure to tell everybody. Everyone. Thanks anyway. You're free to come over and hang out anytime you want. You know. Of course, I'm talking about in Crash Town. I mean. Satisfaction Town. Satisfaction Town? 
I'll be sure to take good care of you if you visit. I'm sure I'll drop by, but you know that even if we are away from each other, we're all still friends. Of course, we're friends forever. Oh my god, why has the sign changed? Wow, they changed the sign really, really quickly. Within an hour. How? They defaced Crash Town. Chapter 6 Changes. Preparing for the tournament and a looming shadow. Shadow. It's great that Crash Town is getting back to normal. The town should be okay with Callum there. It should be fine now. Well, not. Now that. Uh. Warrior. Oh, God, I can't speak. Well, now that we've got that worry out of the way, I have an important announcement. We're going to enter the World Riding Grand Prix. The WRGP. WRGP. Yeah, a Turbo Duelist tour tournament for, three pi for, th for a three-person team. They needed to put an A in, bet for, in between four and three-person. A, to a turbo duel tournament for three person teams. Never mind. Anybody who doesn't want to enter? Anybody who doesn't want to enter? I'm in. What about you, Kingdom Free? I've got a door on it, don't I? Everyone's in. All right. Being in the top, top in the turbo duels is my dream. Remember how I beat you in a turbo duel? Alright, all agreed to enter? So we need a team name to enter, you know, for registering and stuff. So I'll put the old Turo brain into overdrive for this one. How about Team Future Speed? So there's actually, I believe there's six different choices that you can have. So I'll actually flick through all the choices. No, okay, maybe this one then. How about Team Shining Storm? So that's the second one. No, okay, maybe this one then. How about Team Capris Trio? Never, never. How about Team Triwinds? No. No! How about Team Twilight Moon? Nah. Okay. Maybe this one, okay? Team Future Speed. So there's four different... I, th I think it was four different options. Two. I think it might have been five options. So, I'm actually... I'm actually... I actually like the... Like the sound of the last one. So, you can flick through all of them again. So I'm actually going to keep on going through because I've actually never gone. So let's see. So no, not try wins because that's just stupid. Twilight Moon. It's a good name, isn't it? This is one of my fav. This one is my favorite too. Any objections to this name, Misaki? It's a good name. All right then. From now on, we're Team Twilight Moon. So now that the team name is decided, time to practice for the tournament. The dual runners are covered in sand. We have to clean them up. Hurry up and let's do the maintenance. What's wrong with Saki? These are Yusei's. Ooh, okay. Hey, those are Yusei's tools. He must have forgotten them when he helped us with the repair helped with the repairs. King of Freak, take those back to Yusei, would you? We'll finish ma ma uh, maintaining the door runners while you do it. 
By the way, you say's garage is in the south southeast of the Fountain Plaza. So guys, I'm actually so we're actually going to be entering a new area. So I'm actually going to I'm actually going to end off this episode after we So this is actually the map that you can go to. So at the moment you can't go to any uh, any other locations. You can't go you can't go uh, to the mountain pass. You can go only go to the mountain pass, the diamond, diamino area, the fountain plaza, and satisfaction town, which has the mine and satisfaction town. So we'll go back to Domino City, um, and we actually have to go to the fountain plaza. So on the next episode, we are actually going to go to the fountain plaza and get return Yusei's tools. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we do that. Uh, just don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave your comments in the video in the boxes below and I will see you guys next time. See ya.